Good morning, Taurus. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing good. Welcome on board the Cosmic Chariot. I'm going to be your tour over here today. My name is Tyler. How are you guys doing? All right, so Taurus, this is going to be your monthly reading. Not all messages will resonate, but take a resonate and leave the rest behind. With that being said, if you do find that you're resonating with any of these messages, you're welcome to hit that like button or hit that subscribe button. So let me know that you're resonating and enjoying my content and that you want to see more. All right, so Taurus... If you do want a more personalized reading, you can message me on Twitter or Instagram, and I do charge for the reading, so just to let you know ahead of time, so Taurus, what do we got for Taurus? What do we got for Taurus? Alright, Taurus, at the bottom of the deck, you have the Death card, you also have the Three of Pentacles, and the Three of Hearts, both in reverse. So with the death card being in the upright, that tells me that you're going through a lot of changes in the upcoming month. I feel like you're going to be going through an overall change rather than a sudden change, like a tower moment. With the death card is more more or less like a rebirth card, whereas like everything feels like it doesn't feel right, right? So you guys are like kind of off in the in the month and you're not really in the month of September you're kind of off you're not really wanting to do anything you're just wanting to really focus on yourself and do what's best for you but at the same time you're you don't feel like everything's right in the world you don't feel like everything's balanced because you're going through so much change so uh, you're going through the stage of a caterpillar and then all the way to a butterfly in a whole month right so everything's gonna be feeling a bit off but at the same time you're improving upon yourself and you're growing and you're doing what's best for you which is really good with the three of Pentacles here and the three of swords here that tells me that you're ending a contract that was uh, a th <laughs> that had you in a third-party situation or maybe you're getting some sort of divorce because they cheated on you but either way it does seem like you're going through a lot of changes and it seems like it's going to be a very emotional change for you because you are dealing with the heart space um, and you know the death card is Scorpio's card and Scorpio is all about you know water oh well, it's the water sign and water is all about emotions and stuff like that so yeah um, but with the three of Pentacles being here that's contracts ending new contracts starting up for you and rewriting what should have been there in the first place all right yeah you have the ace of cups here so you're going towards something that is very passionate for you and you're releasing yourself from a situation that had you feeling left stuck and yeah you're not wanting a new start with this person because you're getting a new start somewhere else and you do have the tower moment that did fall so you definitely are going through a lot of changes in the month of september which is really good but this tower moment actually caused you to go towards something that you are really passionate about so if you end up getting fired or something just isn't working out it's going to actually be a blessing in disguise whereas you know you end up you know going towards something that is actually going to be even better for you and it's going to really provide you with a lot of passion and excitement and thrive to keep moving forward right um, with the Seven of Pentacles being in reverse, that tells me that just something wasn't working out. I feel like you were looking at the situation and asking yourself, do I want to keep putting effort into this situation or do I just want to give up, right? And I think you finally made that decision to just give up on the situation because the situation just wasn't working out between you two and you're just wanting to go your separate ways. You're understanding when to make a decision and when not to make a decision. You could also be dealing with a Gemini, Leo, or a Sagittarius, or a Virgo. But with the Two of Cups being here, that tells me that this person was a karmic, and they weren't meant to stay in your life forever. They were just there to teach you a lesson. But you're ending the cycle. You're, no, you're not letting this cycle repeat. Um, you could be dealing with any of the fixed signs, so Scorpio, Taurus, uh, Leo, and uh, Aquarius. Um, and then with the Six of Cups being here, that's all about, you know, you wanting an equal give and take. So it could be that you end up going towards something that is very passionate and actually is going to be like an equal give and take with you and your person. Um, but you just got to find this person because this you're understanding that there wasn't any passion in this connection. And you're realizing, like, 
who your actual person is and it could be a Sagittarius or a Leo um, but either way I feel like you're waiting them you're waiting for them or you're watching them because if you're the one that's waiting right here you're kind of just like looking at everything seeing everything for what it is really managing stuff kind of younger than your partner or whatever and then your partner or you is just looking over there like are they gonna come forward like are they ever gonna come towards me like what's going on here like I'm over here waiting you know I'm you know I have all this money ready to support someone why hasn't this person you know come towards me yet and it's because they're really you know working on themselves or really deciding whether or not they want to do something right now or not so they're just like in this mode where they're just waiting and they're not really wanting to take action they're just making sure that everything is right and good before they take action right all right and you also have the eight of swords in reverse and the devil card in reverse so, yeah so whatever this was I feel like it could have been a bit controlling for you or maybe there was just some toxic energies in the midst of this but you're finally seeing everything for what it is you're finally looking at the situation and being like you know what this person was no good for me they were trying to control me they were trying to push me towards all this danger and now I'm finally seeing the light and this person's true colors and I'm realizing that I can find a lot better than this person that this person you know really just wasn't good for me and you know you're just gonna go towards them and yeah maybe this person did give you you know some financial abundance maybe they helped you out financially um, but you're starting to realize like finances or money isn't everything right um, yeah you need money to survive and to make a living and stuff like that but you um, you're starting to realize that you want something that's real something that's passionate something that you know you can do and live the rest of your life doing it right you could be finding yourself going towards the king of pentacles or this could be you um, but either way I feel like this person is going to you know get a huge amount of money or just like they're going to get something very soon you see how that pentacle is just like right on top of his head before he gets you know the fully king of pentacles you know it vibe it's like this ace of pentacles is about to just drop on this person's head you know it's just like <laughs> like there's about to be a huge amount of abundance coming in for you or your partner or you know someone's going to see you as someone that's very abundant someone that is very secure and very stable all right so Taurus that's going to be your monthly reading I hope you guys resonate and enjoyed this reading if you did please like comment and subscribe it really does help for my channel and I really do appreciate it Namaste, I'll see you guys next time. Peace, and if you'd like to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, the links will be down in the description box below. If you want to check out any of the other videos on my channel, you can hit that channel button and take to a whole bunch of videos on my channel. But other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.